Hindustan Copper and Shakil Ahmed, Chairman and Managing Director of the company, joins us on the show from Kolkata to talk about the lot of issues, particularly disinvestment. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, many thanks for joining in. Can you give us the details of the disinvestment plans chalked out by the government for Hindustan Copper? And if at all, when can we expect the FPO to come out? You see, Ministry has already approved disinvestment of 10% of Government of India equity and fresh issue of 10% equity for meeting the expansion need of Hindustan Copper Limited. It is just that there is one more step left and that step is cabinet approval. We are hoping to get the cabinet approval in the month of April. So that is the latest on disinvestment. That's right, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, some more details then on your capital expenditure plans and what kind of fundraising apart from this FPO that you might be looking at? Actually, we are looking to raise 2,700 crores approximately for meeting the expansion needs of the company. Our total capex requirement in the next five to six years is 3,500 crores. So at this point of time, we would like to raise something around 2,700 crores. Would this be the only sum that you would look to raise, Mr. Hammond? I mean, I'm just wondering, would there be any any acquisition plans that you would have as a company and for that if you require any kind of funding? You see we have a number of uh, projects for expansion of existing mine capacity, reopening closed mines and even green field operation uh, within the country. We also have a few other geographies in mind for acquisition of assets. So all this requires huge re requirement of capex, capital expenditure, but for uh, expanding our mine capacity and reopening closed mines alone, we require 3,500 crores in the next five to six years. Any additional activity will require additional funds. Right. And any acquisition targets that you might have identified and uh, more importantly, which parts or which geographies of the world would you be looking at for that? You see, acquisition, I must confess, is at a very preliminary stage. We have just started initial exploratory talks. As you are aware, the asset acquisition abroad is a risky and time-consuming process. So it cannot take place in a, in a few days and in a few months' time. It takes a lot of due diligence and addition. There is an approval process involved. So it takes time. And as far as countries on our radar are concerned, we have Chile, Peru, Namibia in mind. In fact, even Canada, uh, where I found during my recent visit as part of PDAC, that asset acquisition is very simple, transparent and fast. So that has also come on our radar for asset acquisition. Fair call, uh, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, one word really, uh, I mean, we've spoken about acquisitions as well. What's the guidance that you have as a company with or without acquisitions for FY10, possibly even FY11? You see, during current financial year, uh, I'm expecting that our profit uh, before tax will exceed 200 crores as against 5 crores last uh, financial year. And even when our profit after tax should not be less than 175 crores. And that's our expectation for the current year. Next year, unless there is a major uh, sort of meltdown in commodity prices, we should be able to make something like 300 crores comfortably. Well, that's a good number to reckon. I can that, uh, when you're looking at copper, you always talk about those uh, TCRC margins, treatment charges, refining charges. Those have actually declined from last year's year. So what kind of impact do you see on uh, Hindustan copper as a result of this? And what will be the contributions from these TCRC margins to your earnings uh, this year? You see, TCRC does not capture a lot of value. As far as I'm concerned, you might be aware that one of our... Uh, uh, the smelting and refining capacity at Khetri is closed. It is closed for this reason only that TCRC are very low in the world currently. So it doesn't make us, uh, it doesn't make lot of economic sense to keep it running. So we have a small facility at Ghatshila which is currently running and we are getting more value by selling concentrate to other uh, vendors. We are getting more money. So TCRC doesn't give us a lot of value, mining gives us 95% of the value.